Hey, welcome back to Red Blue Labs. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another feature of Z Attack Proxy. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about Force Browse. And so if you're familiar with Zap, it's, it's very similar to Burp Suite, and Burp Suite kind of dominates the, the market. Everybody has heard of Burp Suite, and really people have heard of Zap as well. Uh, and they do a lot of the same things. Granted, Burp Suite does a lot of things really, really good, but I don't think Zap gets enough love. Great. Thanks for joining us. Let's dig right in. All right. So I'm going to go and I have, I already have a local proxy set up. So when I open up my Firefox, all of that content is going to be go through my proxy first. That's what you need to have set up first. There's another video on that. Go ahead and check out the link. Let's go to one of my websites and I want to take a look at what comes up when I want to do the scan. And I'm also going to do a another website, which is actually uh, Metasploitable. So there's a web server running on Metasploitable. And we're going to see what Zap comes back when we scan that. First, let's open up our Firefox in Kali here. And we are going to navigate to my, one of my websites. It's a website where I know that it's got a lot of a lot of different uh, pages in it. So I want to see what happens. Chevyporpose.com. Feel free to go to it. It's a basically a security tool where I've taken notes and document sort of red and blue type type tasks. And let's navigate. Boom. We can see Shabby Porpoise right away pops up. which is great. And you can see that I've got a lot, a lot of links, which are going to be navigating to different pages. Now that I've captured some traffic uh, going to shabbyporpoise.com, let's take a look at what we have. Uh, we got our get, uh, nothing really, nothing too much yet. Okay. But that's not stop there. Let's do a force browse and see what comes from it. So we do a right click and we're going to do attack and we're going to do force browse site. Let's click on it. And you, you do need to choose a, a list. This is kind of like in GoBuster or there's other directory enumeration. Let's do and let's pick the one that comes by default with Zap here. And hit play. We're going to open this up a bit and take a look at what comes what's coming back. And 200 OK is good because it means that it worked. And right away, we are taking a peek and we're seeing all of the different pages that exist on my on my site. We've got Hackflow, Tools, Coffee, How to Use, About. And you would, you would let this run for a little bit. And you, as you can see, the scans, the number of requests is going through and it's trying to, it's going through this actual list right here. And you'll let it go through, tick, 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 let it, let it do its thing. But that's really interesting because it's showing me quickly things that are on that page. So now, Let's let's compare that to like a GoBuster, uh, and to Wordless. When you're doing directory enumeration, you do need to. Um, it's appending that item in that list to a URL and then checking if it exists. Now, would there be a? I, I would I would imagine there'd be a disclaimer as one of the items in the list. I would imagine that about would be there. Tools make sense. Coffee maybe. Home for sure. But then there's weird ones like like this. I've got a page called MS Venom Reverse ASPX. I've got one called XXE1. That's a bizarre name. Maybe it exists in a word list that you can you can use. But you know, I, I just, I'd, I'd venture to say that's fairly unique to my weird website. All right. We were able to discover that through the zap. Awesome. Let's go and take another look. So that was my website. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but to Metasploitable. And it's local, so I'm going to connect to it through the IP. And we should see it pop up there. There it is. 
and we have the website right there. Great. Let's do the same process this time, but on that website. Right away, we can see all kinds of different things popping up. So we've got a, a dot dot slash. And you notice right away also that compared to my website and compared to um, this Metasploitable, I kind of stopped the scan at about 3,000, 3,500. 3, I'm, I'm almost at 5,000 now, and I'm still collecting uh, successful connections to Metasploitable web server, which is great. This would give me a lot of areas to poke around and play. Awesome. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be great. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.